The ECU football team is off to an 0-2 start. The offense has yet to produce the way they expect them to in those two games. It's a combination of a lot of things. I think it's a combination of a lot of things. Had a couple of drops by a couple of receivers Saturday on well-thrown balls. Uh, we had uh, some breakdowns in protection uh, that uh, caused some plays to you know, have to ab abort. Yeah, Mason did a great job of creating some positive uh, yardage off of those situations. Uh, and then we've got to throw the ball a little bit more accurately in the pocket. So I don't think it's one thing. For the second week in a row, Mason Garcia started at quarterback and was relieved by Alex Flynn in the game. Garcia ran for 118 yards and was 10 of 23 passing for 62 yards with a touchdown and an interception. Flynn was 3 of 8 passing for 61 yards with an interception. Both guys are still vying to be the guy. Coach Houston was asked if we could assume Mason would start with Flynn ready to go in going forward. No position in our program is any different than any other. Um, you know, there's always competition, uh, and we're always going to do what's best for our, our, our team and our program to give us the best opportunity to win on game day. ECU started the 2021 season 0-2 as well and still managed to make it to the Military Bowl. People questioned Coach Houston about his quarterback then, and he sees similarities between the two seasons. I remember 2021 vividly. Uh, I remember them booing our quarterback off the field in his home stadium. Uh, I remember everybody uh, telling me all week I needed to bench him. I needed to start the backup. Uh, you know, we weren't going to go anywhere if I didn't do that. I remember a lot of similarities. I also know that it was the right decision not to. And that quarterback's playing for the Seahawks now. So I just think everybody needs to, uh, you know, support the, the kids that are on the field and support the players. So I, I, I draw a lot of similarities.